morning special thanks to Hilda with Fifi and Joy Mushashi for always starting on Wednesday on a laughing note. So uh, the segment is called Breaking Views. So if you happen to interact with a video that you think is going to break the views or make people laugh or go viral, send it to us on Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram, and Y254 on Facebook. It's time for the moment of truth, uh, strength of a woman, and my strength of a woman of the day is an artist, a singer. And uh, she lives up to her name. She's in studio with me. She goes by the name Victoria Gishora. Karibu oh, sana. Oh, you got it. Clap for me. Karibu sana, Victoria. Bye. You're the first, probably the first presenter who's actually called my name right from the Yes, I had to practice. From the get-go. I had to practice. It took a lot of practice. Yeah, I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> All right. Your camera is number four, Victoria. If I missed anything in your credentials, just say it. Um, this is where you... You said uh -huh. singer? Uh-huh. I say that. Uh, songwriter? Uh -huh. I didn't say that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Producer, actor. Producer, actor. Do you produce music or films or I, plays? I started producing my own music. I produced some of the songs on my album. Mm -hmm. Started last year. Mm -hmm. And then I produce a music concert of my own. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. called Speak Music. Mm -hmm. And I've been producing my music videos mm -hmm. so far. This is not the first time you're here, Victoria. No, I was here. Yes. Oh my, is it two years ago? I bet yeah, something <laughs> I so, like that. Yeah. Uh, it means you you have been working. For you to get back here, it means you have been working on I've a lot of sweating. things. I've All been right. sweating. Yeah. You've been sweating. Yeah, been what have you been up to, Victoria? <laughs> um, I've been trying to, um, first of all, finish my mm -hmm. album. Mm -hmm. That is taking forever. Mm -hmm. But the... Live? You know, recording? Um, live, uh, li most of them is live recording, uh -huh. uh, some are tracks, some are, you know, just I'm trying to do, put different kind of sounds on my, yeah, uh -huh. on my album. Uh -huh. And uh, I mean, this is the industry now where it uh -huh. is kind of slow, especially it's slow. back here home. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm not complaining mm -hmm. because I, I've seen a lot of growth. Uh -huh. So um, it could be better, mm -hmm. but so far so good. So I'm working on the album. Mm -hmm. Shoots, doing shoots. I'm uh -huh. doing another. S I'm doing a series right now. Uh -huh. um, working on my speak music. I'm uh, trying to make it better. Is the series already on air? On yes, line. it's online. It's uh, on iFlix. Mm -hmm. iFlix Quase. Uh -huh. It's called Nganya. Nganya. Yes. It's about the Matata culture. Man. What role do you play in this? G take a while, well, guess. I don't think you know. Well, yeah, take uh, a while, well, guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> You are the circle chair, lady chair person. <laughs> are you trying to take cast me right now, guys? No, no. <laughs> All right. I uh, am playing the OCPD, actually. The OC, what? <laughs> All right. All right, so you're a cop in this way. So I'm a cop. What I'm did it take for cops. you to play this role? Did you have to hang out with like, police for a while? Or um, you just actually, I auditioned for a different role. Mm -hmm. This is something that my friend had done, had shot. So mm -hmm. I shot him long, some mm -hmm. few, two years back. Uh -huh. And then, you know, though you can shoot things and you try to push them and then things go a bit slow uh -huh. and then all of a sudden people were interested and they took the show and uh -huh. it, everything happened so fast, it was so uh -huh. exciting. So I auditioned for a different role, mm -hmm. but then when What I is your audition for? Um, this girl, she's a friend of the wife to the Matachi owner, uh -huh. this chiku, Iluka, can I speak in Swahili? Yes, for yeah. sure. This so is Y254. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, yeah. and I was like uh -huh. I don't think that's I, I'm looking for something challenging uh -huh. so I saw the OCPD and I was like why not try it and they thought about it and I was like yeah why not mm -hmm. so they gave me the role all right I didn't think much about <laughs> it <laughs> yeah. all right so the question is how did you prepare for this particular role well, because you've never been cops, a police, I don't think there's ever been a problem for Kenyans to do because uh -huh, we, we have all interacted with yes, them, yes, uh -huh. and we know every day how it goes. Uh -huh. I've been to a cop station, I'm not saying I've been locked up, uh -huh, uh -huh, but I've had uh -huh. experience. Uh -huh. <laughs> you went to bail somebody out, nah, nah, nah. Right. <laughs> I am not saying anything, I'm not I'm pledging a fifth on that, <laughs> all right. but I have had all you know, um, I've had a chance some time to be at the cop station and uh -huh. see how things go. Uh -huh. And you know the, even the court system, mm -hmm. so I, I kind of was just you know gather information from the experiences that I've had, mm -hmm. and I was like, yeah. And then I live actually right next to the police station. All right, so, so you <laughs> get to see these things. Yeah. My big question is, do yeah. you, uh, as an actor, do you sometimes get lost in the character? So sometimes we could be home, you're still in character, but yes. you don't even know. It happens oh, yeah. to you. Yes. I hope you have not harassed anybody yet. Oh my God, I. 
I think <laughs> my fa let, let me tell you something. I thank God for my family because yeah. they they put up with a lot for me. Mm -hmm. It's like this week I have a South African accent. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Why this is very sad? Why are we doing this? You know, it's very bad. Look you know? how yes, I yes. switch mm -hmm. the next week. It's like my niece is always like, Mama, what are you doing? I'm uh -huh. like, who are you now? You know, we so don't get it. Yeah, and uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I like it. Right. I like the idea of, you know. People don't know that your name is actually. <laughs> what does it mean <laughs> in Swahili? Gishora. <laughs> Gishora in Swahili, translated in Swahili. Tell them. Mm, kuchora. 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 Uh -huh. Kikuyu, you know, Gishora. Uh -huh. Awusora. Uh -huh. You know, so you're also fluent in Kikuyu as well. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, you try. yes, you try. I try. I'm better, I'm so way better than you. Most people. You're way better than it most could people. Be better. All right, so your parents knew from the jump when you popped out that you were going to be mm. an artist. Uh, I don't know about because you're living dad. up to the name, <laughs> all right. I don't know about my dad, uh -huh. but I think my mom knew there was something, you In know, yeah, because even something special, yeah, Will he slap she's you always been telling me, yeah. Uh -huh. You're gonna do big things. You are gonna do big things. Which uh -huh. I just wait and see, you know, mm -hmm. uh, because there's a gap between me and my older sisters, mm -hmm. and I just came up like a fluke, and then you're like, oh, mm -hmm. we have another girl. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so I don't know about my dad, and uh -huh. you know, men are very, con you know, conservative in what they feel and about their, daughters. their true feelings about how their kids came along. Uh -huh. But since they love, he loves his girls. He'll just be like, yeah, I love you all, uh -huh. you know. But um, I don't think my dad knew, but my <laughs> mom knew there was something. She knew there was something, was something special. I used to sing when I was a kid on top of the table. Uh -huh. so I used to have my own private show. You've always been a performer. Yes. Victoria Gishora <laughs> on Why in the Morning, <laughs> Strength of a Woman, White 54 channel on Twitter, White 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White 54 on Facebook is the way to reach us. Don't forget the hashtag Strength of a Woman. Don't forget the hashtag Why in the Morning, and don't forget to tell us where you're watching us from. We'd like to give you guys a shout out. All right, so Victoria, uh, you're a singer. You're a... You're a pr you've started producing your own music. I'd like to know how this is working for you. So you play instruments or, or you're good with the software as well? Um, I, now I'm trying to you know, be good with the software, mm -hmm. but I'm better with the, the instruments. That's how I write most of my s songs. Um, I, that's how I started learning the guitar and mm -hmm. the piano because mm -hmm. I wanted to, you know, how to create music, you mm -hmm. know, by, you know, melodies on the keys, mm -hmm. as opposed to, you know, coming up with melodies because there's mm -hmm. different ways, mm -hmm. there's different creative processes, mm -hmm. and I, I like exploring mm -hmm. all that I can. Mm -hmm. So I don't have a specific process, process, but yes, I'm learning now the techy techy stuff of the it. techy techy stuff <laughs> of it. We have a picture on screen right now. Yeah. And uh, you're really killing the game right there. You're really killing the game right there. Who dressed you first? Me. You dressed yourself. Yeah. So you're a stylist as well. You missed something. <laughs> oh, Andrew. Where is this? I had a gig last week. This is last week? Yes. All right. Last, last weekend, the previous one. Last week, that mm -hmm. one? He was at the Blues uh -huh. uh, for some guys called Turning Tables. Mm -hmm. And it was a pretty amazing gig. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You must be feeling. Which song were you singing at this particular point? I think I was singing one of my my new songs. Mm -hmm. this one. Uh, yeah, I think I was singing one of my songs. So that that was the poster for the gig. All right, I'd like to see you make that face. You're I'm going sure. to save that for us later on. Uh, 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 all right, you're on the spot. I'm doing the this band. is a, when is this, Victoria? Uh, this is uh, acoustic sessions that mm -hmm. I did a month, some few months ago, and mm -hmm. then I was just releasing them. Right. This was if a we can I go back to that picture, there's something special. The about back, the, the, right. the one that was there. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. But meanwhile, this previous one. All right. Oh wow. No, okay. bring it. This is still you, Victoria. Okay, stalkers. <laughs> All right, we yeah. do our we do our research. Yeah, I can see that. We do our research, Victoria. <laughs> yes, where is this and what is happening here? This was Matcha Wood Festival. Mm -hmm. We participated. Uh, a friend, a friend of mine was doing uh, participating, and I this I was um, uh, cast modeling. In yeah, no cast uh -huh. in uh, for her production. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So this is a film shoot. So this was a short film for uh -huh. Matcha Wood. Matcha Wood, they do the festivals right. every end of the year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This was for last year. All right. So uh, with Matcha Wood popping, River Wood popping, uh, I think each and every county in Kenya now has a, has a film popping industry. Something. Yes. So uh, do you think there's there's growth and this thing is beneficial to you guys as artists? Do you I feel, think there's do you growth feel, uh -huh. in what we, the, you know, us releasing and having the 
the hunger for the job now like it's very competitive and people are releasing stuff and people mm -hmm. are starting productions but i i'm not so sure if it works for us the artists because we are the ones who are suffering like we are creating stuff and putting it out and that's mm -hmm. good because mm -hmm. you people are watching and that's fine but uh -huh. Uh, you know, uh, what matters the most also is, mm -hmm. you know, what, how it works for us. And that's what we are trying to fight for. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, more, priv not privileges, but more um, room to mm -hmm. have, you know, the full creative control in what we're doing, what we're mm -hmm. releasing, where it's showing, mm -hmm. you know, the TVs, stations, uh, you uh, know. Yes, we're trying we are to to uh, yeah. uh, Y254 always yeah. pushing the culture forward. To push, right. yeah, for more Are you familiar that. with the hashtag play KE music? Play KE music, yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, you're a musician? Yes. You're not going to delve so much into it. Okay. Uh, are we going to see play KE films sometime soon? Yes, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, knowing artists, yeah. and since most of my friends are artists, uh -huh. uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're going to see play KE films yeah, sometimes. So. Yeah, people are becoming more aggressive and mm -hmm. as to, you know, fighting for what we feel is, you know, is right and how things should be running mm -hmm. in this industry especially. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, definitely, I know. Do you think the musicians have achieved, you are a musician, yeah. as your, I know you have multiple <laughs> personalities, your musician side, do you yeah. think you guys have achieved uh, something with this hashtag, play KE music, so far? Yes, I mean, not to, you know, the extent that we want, but mm -hmm. it's moving, it's a slow, progress i don't mm. want to hate on it because mm. i'm a musician and i'm also you know trying to push into it so mm. i wouldn't say it's uh, it's not moving mm -hmm. it could move faster mm -hmm. if you know all these other organs of this wheel could participate could actually come into this mm -hmm. you know because we are fighting as musicians but mm -hmm. there's so many com compounds you know in it mm -hmm. there's the djs mm -hmm. There's uh, the clubs. We we'll see you, DJ. Again, yeah, yeah. exactly. DJs. Please don't put the presenters <laughs> on and the spot. And I also wouldn't blame them uh -huh. because they are also controlled, you know, by what the crowd the, wants. The, yeah, the yeah. crowd wants. And I'm um, at Siwatete, uh -huh. but they could also be aggressive. They could in, do better. You know, yeah, you could do your better. highest moment, Victoria, in your career Whew. so far. So far, mm. let's see. Wow. Sense, 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 sense. I don't think I would say highest. Uh, I uh, mean, I've had pretty good moments. You've had pretty good moments. Um, the one that pops up first in your mind. In my music career, not in my performing. What, what do you mean? All right. Now you're, you, you're good career, at digging holes highest, for yourself. Okay, you're good at digging holes for yourself. My, let me say my career, uh -huh. my highest point is this album, I would mm -hmm. say. Yes. This album, right? It yeah. means a lot and I'm trying to put some blood, some tears, some mm -hmm. sweat in it, like I'm not holding back. Mm -hmm. So this, 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 this is very high for me. This is really high for you. Yeah. We are looking forward to the album because you're dropping something today. Today! Off the album as well. <laughs> New yeah. visual, exclusive <laughs> on Y254. Yeah. It's going to play first on Y254, not at this particular time, but first on Y254, then you'll catch it on YouTube later. Yay. A special gift from Victoria to Y254, to the Y254 family. Yeah. All right, so Victoria, yeah. this album is special to you. Tell yeah. me uh, uh, more about it, the title. Maybe we could start with the title. So there's an there's a EP mm -hmm. that I first released. It's mm -hmm. called Love Release. Mm -hmm. And uh, the album is called Heart to Soul. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's a lot of love music, I love music. <laughs> and you know mm -hmm. I love love music. Mm -hmm. I should be an ambassador of love. Mm -hmm. you know. But you love, and guys, it, love is a good me. thing to love. People. It is. Yeah. I think love controls the world. Love is powerful. You know, I mean, yes. if I love you mm -hmm. and I love him, mm -hmm. like, where are we gonna? And I love her and I love you. Okay. We are not going to. Have we are talking any about the same love. Yes, we are okay. talking about the same. <laughs> <laughs> I see you. We are talking about the same thing. We are not going to have all these problems that we are having right I now. Guess, I guess. With all this love Let's around. Let's just assume we are on the same page. Right. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's called Heart to Soul. It's, uh, it's mostly love music, but mm -hmm. then different kind of scenarios mm -hmm. in love. Because there's good love, there's hot love, there's mm -hmm. forbidden love. Uh -huh. So I kind of put all those aspects in mm -hmm. that. And then especially with the videos. Uh -huh. uh, because there's, you know, you guys, most of you guys. Have mm -hmm. a stereotype like you know, a woman Us gets guys. pissed. Yeah, guys have this. It's like I always say, it's like you guys have a cloud somewhere that mm -hmm. you guys are stuck between each other. When then you guys assume that you know a girl gets pissed and she's not throwing something or she's not you know shouting and nah, nah, mm -hmm. she's I don't know psychotic. But mm -hmm. 
d women have different ways of dealing with hurt or heartbreak uh -huh. or uh -huh. so it has all those aspects there is the uh -huh. woman who would find you know you as my boyfriend ch you know flirting with another girl and I'll probably look at you so pissed and I'll walk off uh -huh. there's and that one that is going to get then some there's water that one who'll throw you know you, you probably get a glass or uh -huh. a bottle uh -huh. yes so and then there's that different. one who'll just be planning to psychotically fuck mess you up all right, all right. Yeah. so see. what is what what do you tell guys as an, as an expert of love yeah i don't, don't, don't <laughs> I, I did not say, ah, see all right you're crowned the expert of love today yeah. what did you tell uh, a guy find somebody that suits you or just live with it if you decided to fall in love with this person um i think there's no way of loving there's somebody. no line I, for it yeah life is very a line. like people just i think people should be open mm -hmm. and uh, not fear the you know the risk of rejection mm -hmm. or something like, like just you know leave i guess a moment mm -hmm. day at a time uh, uh, step at to time. just Come getting to, to know someone because mm -hmm. i feel like you know most people want to plan way ahead they're mm -hmm. like oh it's like if you go on a date and like if this guy does something stupid i am walking out of there because most mm -hmm. girls you're like that you're like it doesn't need to be like, yeah, <laughs> red flag, and then you're out. <laughs> 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 and and now nobody's perfect. So <laughs> it's it, my mom usually tells us, thank <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> and everybody <laughs> with your <laughs> <laughs> porridge, kill them to know Jiake. Uh, yeah, exactly. There's no perfect. <laughs> there's no perfect porridge. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it depends on how much you want to take in. Zile ma komboro zandani. I mean, you gotta take that one and just kuneli kumbingi. Exactly. Then you want to uji, you want your gridi uji, then you just take it. And so kila mtu anakamna pat. Kila mtu na uji yake. Unachagua uji wako. This topic that I like to talk about dangerous mm. love. Dangerous love. Mm -hmm. Is this something that you're covering in the album? Since yes. you're talking about love yes. in general. Exactly what does dangerous song. love mean to you? Uh, can you just call it as a working title? All right, a working title, <laughs> yeah. all right. I mean, I, um, dangerous love uh -huh. is, I don't know, some people would call it forbidden love. Forbidden love? You know? Uh -huh. um, Adam and Eve kind of love. I don't know, that, but that was not bad. It only the but apple the that came in between the seeds It was devil. forbidden, the fruit it was forbidden. Yeah, but then the love was, in the, that's what it was intended. I don't right. believe. But the it love became dangerous intended. in the long run. We can go on and on, <laughs> sorry. But, uh, all right. <laughs> so, um, dangerous love is, you know, that love that is always, it keeps you on the edge. Mm -hmm. You're always on the edge, but mm -hmm. you don't want to, you know, fall over the cliff, but you know, you want to link it's the adrenaline mm -hmm. also of, you know, that thing that is dangerous, mm -hmm. you know, but you still, because we are humans, we're like that. We like, you want that thing that you're being told not to do, don't do that. Like, why? Let me just see what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And it gets, there's a very thin line between that and actually going way Into deep. In the, yeah. And nobody really understands And it. nobody really understands it's it. It's very can't, complex. You, can, yeah. you can't go to school and learn about this thing. I don't think so. You just have to experience it. Uh, yeah, I think it's to experience. Most of it is experience. Uh -huh. Yeah.